what's up you guys it's your girl kai today i'm back with another video this is way different than i usually do like this is a different type of video i'm going to be doing today today i'm going to be going into some news you guys it's some pretty bad news now what has happened is a little over an hour ago it was announced that avatar last airbenders creators just left a live action netflix adaptation you guys i swear it's i swear 2020 must be that year y'all it's just like one thing after the next yeah if y'all are die hard avatar last airbender fan like i am you'll be a little bit disappointed about this now that's only for the avatar fans who actually were looking forward to this live action film i myself was actually looking forward to actually watching this because you know yeah i mean it would have been interesting to see although i was just like kind of concerned as well there's a lot of concerns especially that the movie that they came out with years ago y'all that that was terrible so this time i was kind of like curious to see how it turned out this time because the creators would have been involved in creating this film and then they'll also have the support of Netflix because, you know, Netflix are pretty big. So I'm sure that it would have probably been a good collaboration with the two together. But, you guys, they left Netflix. Now, from off the article that I'm reading off of, it says the creators' names are Michael, Dante, DiMartino, and Brian. I'm not going to try to say the last name. I'll just put it right here. Anyway, yeah, those two legendary dudes that came up with this show. I mean, come on. Like, of course. This is what DiMartino said. He said... Netflix live action adaptation of Avatar has the potential be to be good. He also said, but what I can be certain about is that whatever version ends up on screen will not be what Brian and I had envisioned or intended to make. You guys. That's bad in and of itself. That means that whatever they put out on that Netflix, they had nothing to do with it. That just basically makes it pointless to like even like watch you know what i'm saying because the whole point of being excited about it is because they would have been involved in creating that you know what i'm saying so that's definitely a big bummer for me because it's just like are they like what even makes sense for netflix to even go through with making the show anyway why would you want to watch a show right that you grew up watching and became a, a big fan of and you have these people that are taking over the like the show because the creators are no longer there so there's no telling what kind of things you're gonna you know do with the show at that point you know what i'm saying like it's just like just don't even do it anymore that's just how i see it like just don't touch it just don't touch it please <laughs> i hope they don't touch it i hope they just leave it and just like be like okay so it's just they don't want to do it just don't do it at all then again i'm kind of curious it's always that curiosity there y'all like that's, that's how honestly how i feel i'm very curious about how it'll turn out if they're not there but at the same time it's pit i'm pissed and disappointed that they're not going to be there so we're gonna see guys so apparently another thing in the article that they mentioned is that both claimed that netflix did not come through in the way they were hoping for leaving them with creative differences that would not that could not be resolved so creative differences that's a big thing like if you can't agree on anything especially when it comes to an original creator and then these other people that are just kind of joining so it feels like you're kind of like merging teams at this point so like if you can't get on the same page it'll probably be a good idea if it's not a good working environment then to just i understand why they don't want to like go ahead and part ways with netflix especially when it comes to this series since it's such a huge series it's so popular amongst like yeah everybody a lot of people grew up watching the show and it's just like if they put this show out and they're involved in it and it's not how they envisioned it, then it's, probably, it's a definitely a good idea to just not do it and then probably just do it another time. When they can actually put out what they want to put out and represent the way they want to represent it their own way. Rather than having to have conflict. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the other creator, Brian, mentioned the studio failed to follow through on its promise to support their vision and weren't coming to the table with ideas that were, quote, in line with the spirit and integrity of avatar so guys apparently like this is very unfortunate the fact that they're just not meshing it just seems like that's just what it comes down to it just seems like they're not on the same page of how this show should be developed and how they should go about making this show that's very unfortunate that 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 also could be a reason why we never really heard a lot of news concerning this show that like, we knew it was coming out but no other news is really being talked about i know it did mention a casting eventually but um other than that we haven't really heard a lot of news at all about the show so i think that they did start mentioning a live action in around about 2018 that's when it was announced that's what the article says it was announced in 2018 that they would be making a live action and it's 2020 now so it's just like of course it takes time but to like 
us having little information about the show now, it makes sense. It might have been just because they're just having a hard time, you know, communicating and agreeing on, on things, you know. It's probably hard for them to come to agreement on those things. So that's basically what it comes down to, guys, is that basically the original creators of Avatar will no longer be working with Netflix to create the live-action avatar -less Airbender series on Netflix. So... What we have left to see is, first of all, if Netflix will continue their creation with Avatar, move on without them, or will they just cut it? Which I personally think they should just not do it because I just feel like it's not, it's not going to hit, it's not going to be as special to us because, like, what is it without the real creators? This is like, I'd rather watch something knowing that the creators had a part in it so at least it would make some type of sense. But you have, like, complete strangers or people we don't really know making your favorite series that you're looking so forward to seeing. It's just like... It's just like that concern that it won't reach your expectations. And I feel like that's what the creator's concern was as well, is that they want to make sure it was special for all of us who are, like, genuinely fans of this show. So let's see what they do about that, guys. What do you guys think? Should they continue to go through the show, or should they just go ahead and just cut it? The creators did say that they will continue on with, um, you know, other other things as well. As far, Like, Avatar isn't dead. They're going to continue to, you know work on their projects and stuff like that so maybe just maybe guys we might get a show we don't know we'll have to see about that there are there is good news though so they're coming out with another comic book for but this one is going to be based off of Toph so the title of the comic is called Toph, Toph Beifong's Airbending Academy so this will be when she starts her academy and we'll see her journey so it's just like basically a spinoff it's just basically so we can see what Toph was up to back then. So we get to see the beginning of the Metal Bending Academy. It's very exciting. Um, it also says that Suki and Sokka will be making a, an appearance in the so show. So we'll be able to see kind of what's going on with them too around this time. So that's going to be exciting to see. They also said that there are also going to be some other characters that will be making an appearance in the comic. They're not necessarily big characters. They don't really say who it is. But that will be very exciting to see guys. So def that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Because Toph is my favorite like... You know, that's that's my home girl. That's my home girl right there. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one. And the other big news that they had is that The Legend of Korra will be coming to Netflix August 14th. So that is two days from now. I'm late on that, but I just wanted to mention that in here. So Le Legend of Korra will be reaching Netflix. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. How you guys feel about this whole situation. Are you upset about it? It's like a uh, bittersweet honestly i'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen in the future it's a little bit of a bummer but i'm a be firm believer that things happen for a reason so maybe it just wasn't meant to be maybe later on we'll get a great live action to look at and i also think it's a perfect opportunity for me to let you guys know that i'll actually be doing a segment in my youtube now where i'll be talking about different uh avatarless airbender topics also legend of Korra too so i'll just be doing discussions and things like that because you guys i love that show so much and there's so many things i feel like there is to talk about the show so i'm going to be starting a segment on this channel or maybe i was thinking about doing one on another channel but since i'm so new at you know youtubing and stuff like i don't know if i should do it here or on another channel i'm still trying to decide but the first video will be coming out next friday i'll, I'll be trying to put out um a video at least once a week for at least this uh, every Friday. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below and see you in the next video.